Fight. Prepare for more. I'm here now. It begins. Yes. Impossible. Possible. Possible. Yeah. No block. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am a machine. No block. No block. No block. I absolutely will not stop. Ever. Yes, yes. More? Okay, well, that's uh, all I understand. It. More. More? Oh, okay. More. I can't believe you've done this. I'm gonna get up and then I'm gonna throw you again. Now I throw you again. More. More. You are terminated. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. You have been targeted for termination. What? You have been targeted for termination. Right. Accept termination. I have Model T for two. Stop that. Calculating overhead. Processor says overhead. Oh, nice CPU combo. is getting overhead. Nice combo. Down four, down four, over here. Combination failed. Successfully baiting down two. Successfully defending shadow kick. Future secured. Database updated. Grenade not anticipated. Next move is too complicated. Throwing geezer. Geezer thrown. Geezer deployed. Teleport station successful. Low initiated. Overhead initiated. You are fucking no life. I have no life, I am a machine. <laughs> I do not understand guy. laughter. Funny guy. No fun allowed. <laughs> Waiting for back to back to found, down to found. What down to found? Waiting for back to down to. Grab, everything is a high. <laughs> you cannot touch the Terminator. The Terminator has seen all of your moves. Miscalculation. Do not feel pain. I'll disappear again. I am from the future. Hyper alloy titanium chassis over living tissue. Uh oh. You are terminated. Oh, you're terminated. <laughs> nice, mate. Good, 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 good match. Judgment day is inevitable. Alright, here we are again, talking over another one of my matches, because I'm just so cool like that. Well, I'm playing against Bandinos and his Scorpion Rad. Actually, what am I on about, mate? Playing this game. This game here is, is like a really solid example of why Optin Select like, rule the game. The game is basically Optin Select Fighter. Look what happens with this game, right? So there's a lot of uh, micro ducking. 
in this case, that is the option select of MK11. That's like the main option select of MK11. You might create that. Which is like here, where you just release block and crouch for like the shortest possible window you can, and it'll avoid the throw. But then by the time you're blocking again, you'll be blocking whatever attacks are around that window. There you go, there's me moaning, hoping you give everyone an overhead. The reason I'm saying give everyone an overhead in the next game to destroy Microduck. Because essentially, if you don't have overheads or like, you don't give them, dish out the overhead frequently enough to the cast, and they only have mids, you're, you're kind of making it like ridiculously hard for people to get people off of this option. That's why I really see our play characters like Terminator. Sub Zero, Shiva, anyone with an, a 50 50 in this game that is a bit blessed that they don't have to deal with that interaction. That's why you, got, that's why you see people doing things like backdashing a lot after when it's their turn on advantage. And not only that, there's, there's plenty of other options to select in this game, like where the, it's essentially the game just playing itself out for you. Ah, oh, mate, favorite return, look at that. Like the scorpions that uh, do the single hit confirms into teleporting that with the teleport cancel. Pretty sure that's an option select. People are option selecting on their offense as well, like so they don't have to commit to unsafe launches. Yeah, it's just it's just actually running rampant in this game. So you better get good at doing all these sort of things. Obviously, there's still elements that you got in the game. Like, he played this round well. Right, there's me getting cooked. There you go, overhead. So I have a block on, I just play on default. You know, it's big brain to play on default. That way when you go to tournament, you don't have to change the button check, won't f you up. Or as close to default as possible. Round one, fight. Right, so. In the second game here, obviously I'm like, oh, I'm going to get option selected to death. So, pay a bit more attention to the details, right? So, here I'm doing like a jab into a throw. That way I mess with his rhythm of the option select. Like, so, I'm not going to get instantly smacked out of my uh, throw. Because you have to throw in this game. There's, there's no two ways about it. It's, the game's full of option selects and you have to play into what they're against, so... Just taking the full damage here. See, delaying my strike again. That's to try and catch the reading. the window of him releasing yeah. block or just a window of him pressing an attack after it. Just mooching about here, like there's no advantage that needed to be lost. No advantage needed to be gained. Okay, now he's got an advantage. I am just a clown. Look at that one. I get hit there. Oh, I've right. oh, put myself in a bit of a wax situation here. It's all going perfectly well for him. See, there you go. He gets out. Oh, yeah, you the same idea. Okay, this is bad news for him because he spent all of his bar on the, all of the defensive bar on his teleport cancel, so I get this damage for free. 36%. Taking another grab. The reason I did a command grab is to say, like, just in case it did land, he wasn't able to escape. Alright, both players here looking. Oh, okay. Uh, never mind. Looking, looking to play carefully and one gets dunk. Doesn't matter. And get, get a cheeky reset. And that's going to be the end of it. Alright, yeah, that's, that's the equalizer. Just don't get hit in it. Any tips on where to smoke your stogie? Well, if you're stud and you're ballsy, smoke I smoke your stogie my wherever stogie you want. Anywhere you want. Find a I don't have place. to find a hideout place like you. <laughs> Fight. Alright, final game. I got fortunate there. That was all about our timing, really. Who was going to connect that first? Nice conversion puts him in advantage. I've got no breakaway left, so. Ideally here, I'd have to be a bit more conservative in my decision making, and I'm not. I don't get, I get booted in the face for like the maximum possible damage. Really smart. Overhead, check me from option second him. That's why Scorpion's back three is really good.
Nice. Get a single hit confirmed there. Unfortunately, drops what he's doing and. Then I drop what I'm doing. You know, I ain't supposed to be able to do a combo. Alright. Very, very sweet. And look. There you go. They, that was that was it right there. Perfect example of the option select. Smallest possible duck into release block, press button. And then he gets it right back. To, look, welcome to Mortal Kombat 11, mate. <laughs> You can see me here not trying to get up and selected again, like. But unfortunately, he played into it, so now he's getting. It. <laughs> hey. Hey. I'm too slow there. Like, if you, if you block that kick, it's actually your turn. Uh, it's not looking good. Then uh, let's get away. With he, he, he failed to time his meaty properly and yeah, gets so scooped up. Right? So Didn't at the end for both players. Ah, uh, that's that's like the worst way for this to end for him. He gets thrown, he gets escaped, failed, and it's going to the last round. And I haven't I haven't lost any of my resources. Uh, you see, see how he's resetting neutral every time on block instead of just like sitting there to take like a strike throw mix up. That's the benefit of the teleport cancel. You don't have to you don't have to take time off once afterwards. But I don't know why he did that. That that's the kind of mistake that will lose everything for you. See, so yeah, I got my little chunk of life lead. He gave me everything I wanted and I still didn't do anything with it. I deserve to lose at this point. Hold on. Failed to punish that, but... Nightwolf's roll is kind of weird. It's hard to punish for some characters from certain ranges. And then I bait out, well, bait out, pulled out the armor breaker. Hit the overhead. Uh, if you, yeah, you're pretty much done here. That's long. Get hit by that. Get hit by that command grab KB into another launch, you're done. Mate, you get you eat that armor break off Night Wolf and you get hit immediately after, you basically lose the round. I think that's his that's his cheapest thing. Yeah, exactly. Alright, there's a couple games here versus Terminator. This one's kind of hard to play because nobody wants to be near Terminator, really. But you're going to have to go near him. And Nightwolf ain't properly equipped to zone him out like that. Deep with punish into the arm break. I'm probably going to spend this because I ain't trying to mess around. I'm trying to get this Terminator there ASAP, you know. Like the dynamic in this matchup is both characters give up their turns on block quite clearly, but one of them, as in Terminator, he has much a much better time of guessing against you than you do against him. Because it's a three-way guess against Terminator, he's got a, a fast command grab, so you can't that you can't mash out of. So you have to commit to the duck or commit to the jump. And then he's got overhead low, and he's got a 10 frame mid as well. This one here. That's a good mid check. And there's the overhead, see what I'm saying? So it's a blender. This is what makes Terminator nasty, point blank. And, and see, it's just, yeah, it's getting blended. And he's, he's playing a different Terminator variation to what I play. He's got command grab, which is going to be like 50%. So if you get hit, I think it's four, three or four times like that, he's loaded his crush and blow. So in round three or round two, whatever one he wants to close out the game, you've got that to look out for. And he can command grab with everything as well. Maybe I was too obvious there with my grip. No down three for you, shut up. I scramble. Yeah, I thought I'd put myself at a disadvantage, even though he's got less life, like he's gonna teleport in as a mix up on when he comes out. I've got a guess. And... Fortunately, I landed that back free. 
didn't hit that, I was done. Fight. Alright. So I have to just about scrape him away through that game. He's gonna run at me <laughs> run at me with a fist of vengeance. Alright, identifying I was gonna drop the combo there. Fishing for some overheads. Thought maybe I was gonna get a command grip. Alright, that's how you punish Terminator Blow. If you think he's gonna do the launch variant of the string, you gotta interrupt it between the second hit. Well, between the first and second hit. Keeping my damage here unbreakable. So regardless what happened after that, it was one hit for him to be done. Oh. Alright, this is yeah, classic. Actually classic. Drop drop whatever you're doing. Stop! Drop whatever you're doing and do another mix-up. Terminator, that is some Terminator stuff. Or Sub-Zero, like... Alright, man, swinging from downtown. Don't know what he was looking for there. Bad guess. Bad guess again. The blender, it never ends. Yeah, mate, this is... It's not looking good. It's, he's plus two here. His down one won't, won't reach. I don't know why he's checking with that. It, yeah, and he gets up. Yeah, I'm done. Spends all the bar, guaranteed. Another game, was it game free situation? You know, it's always great to be in a game free situation against a blender, isn't it? Like. Trying to be a bit more, slow the pace down, get a bit more damage from a bit of range, maybe like widen the gap a bit. But you always got to be aware of that teleport, it can literally change everything up in the blink of an eye. I'm trying to roll underneath the shotgun, and you can see, um, there we go, look, there's proof that you can actually roll under the shotgun, and he just mashes out and block. What an animal. Alright, one more hit for either of us, and it's over. He goes for jump. Okay, if you block the overhead and you go immediately punish with a jab, you can stop him from doing running man. Can't stop him from doing grenades, but it will punish all the running man options. Roll, don't roll then, that's fine. There we go, look. Me pitifully trying to roll under that, failing it. Okay, yeah, mate, he, he just messed that up. I right, see the scenario, he jumps after he blocks that string, I let him do it. Yeah, that was the hooligan down to that he uh, caught me with in the second game, I think. First game, whatever. Watch the video back, innit? You know what I mean. And now he's just thinking I'm throwing him or something. My objective here is just don't get hit by something in the fatal blow, but it's so possible, it's disgusting. I'm a clown. Could have got command grab punished for that, you know. Right, different kind of match up here against Katana. Especially when she doesn't have the size chance, that means that Nightwolf's arrow is going to come into play like big time in this matchup. He's doing 9% on hit with the arrow, and he has a reflect that you see there. Whereas Katana's fans only do 6, so essentially every time you hit the arrow and she trades with a fan, you win by 3%. So the neutral game is you want to just do the arrow back up so you can do the arrow again and give yourself time to re react to the fan, to reflect. See, you know, the life deficit is too much, like you can't really do anything here. Yeah, you can choose to do a YOLO his way in. Oh yeah, blocking the fans. Alright, he's inching his way in, so that kind of opens up the overhead for me. Take that damage I got from the overhead. Alright, I'm going in. Doing my, doing my strings and that, and then I'm just keeping it chill, isn't it? Like, there's no need to overextend. If he does EX low fan, the second hit is flawless blockable, which makes it punishable. Don't let them combat the katanas do that to you. They love rinsing that. Alright, so now he's gone Jade. Maybe because I was shooting a lot of arrows and he's like, yeah, you know what, I'm just going to glow. But I don't really think 
Nightwolf has jaded that bad for Nightwolf. Like, he can reflect all of her projectiles because they're pretty slow, even if she's glowing. And all of her buttons that are, like, most people are annoyed by, he sort of contests with as well. Like, his forward one, the axe swing is pretty good. This one here. It's actually pretty good at whip punishing every button she has. All the annoying ones, like, down four there. Which means the rest of it is you've got to play fundamentally sound and you'll win the match. Like here, nothing can really be done to, to win, other than me be a fool and do something like that, which is kind of pointless. Alright, starting myself off with a little bit of a life deficit, but for some reason he's shadow kicking in and. That was actually a, a naughty whiff punish. Nice one. Put myself on the back, yeah? See that you can reflect everything she does on reaction. Alright, he's getting a bit antsy here, doing shadow kicks and whatnot, and down two. Yeah, you see, here's another down two. It's, it's, that's a sign of panic, alright? And then obviously, fan panic, panic, fatal blow, panic, fatal blows, mate. And that's the end of him. Put him a talk up. Hey, nice one, you lot, though. Appreciate you coming back to these videos time and time again. Got you hooked, and I. If you'd like to experience the channel in its uncensored glory, then feel free to join the channel as a channel member. Uh, I post the raw versions of some of these videos. And obviously, if not, you don't have to, but I appreciate it. See you guys in a bit.